The 10 minute drill. This is a big one. Covered by Universal Roof and Contracting. The difference is universal. On 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right, sports concepts and rationalizations coming your way. We call it the 10-minute drill. There's a lot of things cooking in the uh, sports world besides LSU, Clemson, yeah. which we're going to talk a lot about a lot today. But, man, uh, mine is taking away the title, which they could have done. If they really, if Rob Manfred really had the guts, he threw the book at the Astros, and the Red Sox aren't going to be far behind. Uh, uh, if and you, your, your boy should get smacked. That yeah, was he skated. cowardice by Rob Manfred, who I thought was very, he did what he should have done. Yeah, I mean, to a point, but there's still, I was a great Bill Plaschke article about how, and this is true. Now, if you go back and look, he had an ex in fact, let me read you what, cause this, this is why it's not fair. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. and his, his premise, uh, again, tell people what happened. In, okay. In case so you missed it. There's the, cheating. The, the Astros yeah. uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah. All right. They devised this plan where the the television camera behind center field would pick up the catcher's signals, would relay it to the dugout, and then just outside of the dugout, inside the hallway, back to the locker room, there would be a player, and he would bang on a garbage can lid, and and that way signal to the batter what kind of pitch was coming, a fastball, an off-speed pitch, or whatever. We asked one of the best hitters in baseball, which he is, and that would be Daniel Murphy, point blank, if he knew it was fastball or off-speed, you know, what would you improve your yeah. average by? He said probably flirt around 400. <laughs> I mean, he would, he said 40, 50 points, I think is what he said. But he definitely would, you definitely would hit better. It makes a difference, okay? So the Dodgers and Astros play in the 2017 World Series. And the bottom line is, listen, they cheated the Dodgers out of a chance to win. Let me re- remind you what happened in Houston, Okay. Um, Houston, L.A. through Darvish, Kershaw, and Morrow, okay? And Plasky's point is, bro, there would have never been a Game 7. If the Astros hadn't cheated, Dodgers would have won in six. I, I mean, it's, it, look, I, I hate to like, Listen, give though. credence to that argument. Listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some numbers. Okay. Darvish entered Game 3. 1.59 ERA in his two previous postseason starts. Uh, four runs in the second inning. Bang, bang, bang. Kershaw had pitched the best big game of his career in the series opener. One run over seven innings, struck out 11, walked none. Yet in game five, four-run lead he gave up, three-run lead while being hammered for six and four and two-thirds. Bang, bang. Bang. That's the garbage can he's banging on. Morrow had allowed two runs in 12 and a third previous postseason innings. In game five, he couldn't get it out. Four runs out of homer, single, double, homer. Dodgers lost two of three, limped back to L.A., trailing three to two, and never got the mojo back. And he also points out, it's it's fair. The Astros steal history and narrative and reputations. Kershaw has always been the guy. Maybe Kershaw was going to turn it around in that series. It's you know? despicable. I think I, I'm I'm happy that Manfred at least was, you know, more than a slap on the wrist and a fine or whatever. Those guys, we said, yeah. those guys should lose their jobs, and they did. Now, Manfred didn't, he suspended him for a year, but credit Houston's owner. I want a fresh start. I do not, yeah, I'm not going to be a party to this. GM. You guys get the hell out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, my question to you is, will they ever co- coach your GM again? No. No? Absolutely not. He'll never manage again. No. You're a, the worst of the worst. Yeah. You're despicable. You're supposed to be the guy in charge. And what, to, to just to is, en- uh, endorse that? Next question. What is Pete Rose thinking? Are they eligible for the Hall? <laughs> yeah, Pete Rose banishment got, from baseball is beyond ridiculous. I mean, it's been long enough on that one, too. I got banished for life, and uh, these guys get a year. Um, now, it's Alex Cora, who's the skipper of the Red Sox. And he's going to get suspended. He's going to lose his job, too. You think so? He's the ringleader. He started the whole thing. Yeah. It was his idea. Yeah. And they know it. Major yeah. League Baseball knows it. And, and now I got but, one more question to you as a, as, okay. a, as a fan. All right. If it was your team uh-huh. and you could win a championship, 
and not know about it for it's like cheating in the NCAA. Well, if I never knew, so what? I, I, you, if you well, never I would knew, say when it came out now. It uh, yes, it would bother me. Uh, uh, it, you know why? Because it would be illegitimate, and you would yeah. harp on it every day. And yeah. Other friends, <laughs> you would, and that's part of being a sports fan. We don't all live in a bubble. Sports isn't enjoyed one on one. You with your team. Yeah. It's a community event. It's the rival. It's the talk. It's the chatter. Shows like this and. And, you know, opinion polls. And, yeah, it would be illegitimate. And I I take great umbrage with what you said about my man, Carlos Beltran. As many have pointed out on Twitter, he has been punished. He has to manage the Mets. Well, um, Manfred, I think, (laughs) chickened out when it came to dealing with the players that pulled it off. I think they should have done that, too. Maybe it was a question of having to deal with the the union or whatever. Well, they went to other teams, but so what? The other other thing you have to remember about the Astros, and and in fairness, and this is why Cora is going to get lit too and the Red Sox are going to get lit Manfred wrote them all letters and told them warned them hey I don't remember the Apple watch scandal what was that exactly that was the Yankees and the Red Sox what what did they do exactly I can't explain it exactly but uh, yeah I remember it yes and and he well I mean I remember it happening I don't remember the the details yeah and he told them all listen no 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 we're not doing this if you guys do this I'm going to punish you and he did he did the only question, um, the only question is, you know, should he have taken away the Astros title? And many feel like yes, he should have. Just I, I would. It. It's not like you can I'd give it to the it. Dodgers. No, you just void it. But you can vacant it. We we talked we about vacating. That, yeah, we did that in um, in '94, right? We had a, was that the strike year? What well, was there it? was no they didn't there play. Was no, right, there's yeah. no champion though. If you go, I, I think that it should be taken away from the Astros. I agree with that 100. percent I think it's documented, it's proven, and they Bill Plasky's column that that you're dead on. That's an excellent column. Yeah, it was very good. That's being specific. All right, here's what was happening. Yeah, here's what. And happened. then they started cheating. Remember those games were like 11 to 10. Yeah, yeah. so the Astros are. Downright dirty cheaters, and I it shouldn't count. Yeah, that, that title shouldn't count. They cheated to win it, and I don't think they would have won it had they not. Like, sometimes you can almost say, I mean, this isn't like NCAA football, and then they, they, they turned the screws and they made one of your guys ineligible because he accidentally took $50. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, oh, well, he's ineligible. You suspend all your games. You can argue uh, against that more than this. Investigators back in 2017 determined the Red Sox executed a scheme to illicitly steal hand signals from opponents, catchers, and games against the second-place Yankees and other teams. Um, uh, the Yankees had long been suspicious, contended. The video showed a member of the Red Sox training staff looking at his Apple Watch in the dugout. The trainer then relayed a message to other players in the dugout who in turn would signal teammates on the field about the type of pitch that yeah. was about to be thrown. Which means a guy somewhere in a video room is probably sending a text through the Apple Watch. Right. So you're not, it's not so obvious because you're not looking at a phone. Right. Or answering. Or and again, Murph said signals. it best. It's uh, one thing about stealing signs, and you know we're trying to steal signs the old way. You know. I don't consider that stealing. I consider that poor hiding by the other team. Right. If I'm on third or second and you let me see the signs, I'll yell to my guy, it's a curve. Right. That's fair. That's right. your fault. Right. Yeah, a lot of people are saying Cora should get a lifetime ban for this. Yeah, he's... Cora did something after the Apple Watch, though. Well, yeah, the Red Sox he's are being investigated whole... again. Yeah, after that. This yeah. thing. Yes. No, he's not being punished for this. Well, for what? For the Astros thing. Yes, he will yes, be. Yes, he is. He's going to be. Cora's going to get crushed. Yes. Well, why wasn't that announced yesterday? It was. Alex Cora is facing harsh discipline Correct. from MLB. But yeah. I think because it's because of the, the boss. Something no. happened in Boston. No, it's no. because of this. Now, the thing that happened in Boston is going to add to the fact okay. that he's a right. dadgum yeah. cheater. He's part he's... of the Astros thing, and he yeah. took it to Boston yeah. and continued And maybe it. that's why. The Boston thing, he told, he, right. he'd set up the video room. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's his thing. <laughs> yeah, he he's needs to dirty be fired. as hell. He's... I might be a, a lifetime ban. That's worth it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, it's a, it's a, it's a fascinating topic. And it's going on right now in uh, in Major League Baseball. So, uh, but Manfred threw the book at him: five million dollar fine and first and second round picks the next two years. Yeah, also. I mean five's the max. I mean they couldn't find them anymore by rule. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the fine the no one gives a them. listen. These Major League Baseball owners can, can, can bathe and then towel off and then burn the money that they bathed and toweled off in. The Red so, Sox are going to lose draft picks. They're going to lose international signing money. Right. That part is matters, but the fines are ridiculous. Who cares? That yeah. goes to an owner, and he pays it. And Correct. Correct. Um, I saw that sometimes you have to be careful about your redshirting because Houston tried to redshirt, and now Houston has a problem. 
they're losing their quarterback. He's going to go in the portal. So, and all along they were saying, oh, no, no, he's just redshirting. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Yeah, he's not fine. He's right, like they were just punting this season. Yeah, and he's leaving, and he's a Houston kid, and he might, he might go to Arkansas and play with Kendall Bryles, who's there now, who was his OC at Houston. So, Is Georgia remiss? Uh, uh, this, by the way, I, I wish, let me, uh, let me find the quote. Mm-hmm. This is, uh, I don't mean to be harsh. Oh, boy. Maybe I do. I think you're going to be though. This right. is an all timer. Okay. From the Georgia head coach. Where did I read this, this, this comment? Okay. I, I must've read it online, all right. but he said something to the effect of, okay. Newman gives them the ability to run a different type of offense. You mean like Justin Fields, who runs that <laughs> offense better than anyone in college football, and you ran off for from? <laughs> you mean that kind of ability? Oops. 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 So where uh, Derek King, well, that would be huge for Arkansas. They yeah. sure need it. Yeah. But there are other places, too, so we'll see where he uh, ends up. I don't know if uh, FSU's in the mix or not. They might be. They should be. If I was FSU, I'd be calling. You're darn right I would. Did they? What has FSU done at the position? They signed two freshmen. That's it, though. There hasn't been a, a, no. a transfer. No. The the Memphis kid is the one that we right. sort of waiting and on. And he ended up staying? Or? Um, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Obviously, he can still go in the portal. I think so. it's still up in the air, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, ESPN at halftime. By the way, the college football games are way too long. I mean, we all, you know. Everyone was basically begging for death. By about time, the second half, it was a four-hour game. Second half game. moved along pretty good. It was four hours. But the second half probably stayed within its hour and a half. The first half. It was, was a four-hour production. And as we said, it didn't kick till 8.20. Yeah. It was about 8.15 <laughs> to about 12.15. So, um, yeah, it was way t- it's, it's too long. It's too long. And, and we complain about the NFL. We should complain about college as well. But anyway, uh, with that said, at halftime, which is also too long, they unveiled their top 11 players of all time. And listen, I understand how difficult it is to do polls. I'm one of those. There's voting for awards and polls. And, you know, I vote for the Heisman. So I hear the complaints every year. You know, you got it wrong or whatever. That's fine. I get it. So and, and when, when you're talking 150 players, that's impossible. But for the life of me, you cannot put, and no disrespect, or if you put, Peyton Manning in at 21. Okay. Then Danny Werfel has to show up in the poll, doesn't he? I, I think it, it was they, – they took – We're a talking great, about the best college. college. Yeah, they took a great idea, and they just they corporated it up. They corporated they, it they up. They used NFL, uh, you know, success and, and brand yes. stuff. Because I, 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 my but Tim Tebow yeah. was a far superior college quarterback. Yeah. Forget Werfel. Oh, yeah. Tebow's better than Werfel, too. Tebow oh, yeah. is the great – yeah. Unknown in this poll in the seventies. He should have been, just... been a top ten guy. He should, and well, I'm not saying that as a, as yeah, a Gator. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. that as a football fan. There's yeah. three guys that are in the top ten that people were really like, "Are, Who are you they? kidding me?" Who are they? Uh, Tebow is one. Yeah. Uh, OJ. Yeah. And Reggie Bush. Yeah, Reggie Bush. Too. Uh, all for, OJ also unbelievable college player. I'll, I'll, and I'll say this too: My dad, uh, God rest his soul, always told me Jim Brown's best best running back I've ever seen. But when my dad talked to me about Jim Brown, he talked to me about him as a member of the Cleveland Browns. Jim Brown was a great – I mean, he's an All-American lacrosse player, too. But – Well, he did not look in great health last night, did he? Oh, he's he? not. He's, he's getting he's, – I didn't realize that because I yeah. – wasn't he at the White House, like, in the last he's, year or two? No, I've I don't know. The last couple times he's popped up, like, in Cleveland. So well. He hadn't gotcha. looked Yeah, it's the first time I've seen older, him. yeah. It's the first time I've seen yeah, since Sim and Kanye were in the White House with that whole oh. circus. But anyway – when we talked about Jim Brown, we talked about him as a member of the Cleveland Browns, and I think that's where he made his hay, and that goes back to kind of what you said. Jim Brown was a great player at Syracuse, but he's not the best player of all Jim time. Jim is a 83. Yeah, he's 83. The best college football player of all time? Yeah, he's yeah, not. No, not no, at all. He's not. Peyton Manning, 21, is outright ridiculous. That guy ne- underachieved in college, never won anything. Right. Winning should matter. He won one SEC, I guess. Yes, he he won it his last year. Yes, whoop de doo Yeah. And then so, they went and Nebraska beat the hell out of him yeah. for another national title. So anyway, uh, just uh, we can we'll play around with that a little bit today, not too much, but I mean it, it is. Again, I looked at the stats. Danny Werfel threw 114 touchdown passes in his career. Peyton Manning threw 89. Danny Werfel averaged more yards per attempt. The only thing Peyton had him on 
was uh, uh, he completed like 62% of his passes in his career, and Danny was at 60%. But Steve Spurrier, who is a college football icon, when Danny Werfel left Florida, said that's the greatest college football quarterback I've ever seen. Yeah. So, but, but he also said if there's any NFL team out there that wants to win a Super Bowl, they need to draft well, that's Danny okay. Werfel. That's what we all do. <laughs> we got Michael Jordan. You know, that's what we do with our guys. So, anyway, I thought that was, I thought that was a little bit interesting. As well, LSU is uh, number one. The way too early look at the top twenty-five. We'll do that when we come back. Yeah, I like that. Um, those are always it should fun. be. Listen, a real swing year in the East in this in this neck of the woods because you've got Georgia's got yeah. real some some they really need to resupplement. Yes, and Florida is cruising along with some momentum and some returning players, and and so you don't want to put too much pressure on it. But this is already building to a. Uh, late October, if not now, when Gators. Yes. So, um, yeah, I, I like to dig into those a little bit as well. We got a lot of, lot of stuff to get to. Uh, there's a lot it's of good very, stuff. A lot on of a news Tuesday. breaking uh, yesterday, and uh, we'll hit every corner of it as we roll on here on a Catlin Chuck Accessories Tuesday. Let's do caller number five, Beef six four one ten ten. Tell them what they're going to win. Caller number five right now is six four one ten ten for their next four A away from the first coast. It's going to take home some airport parking from our friends at usapark.net. 641-1010, be caller 5 right now.